Hey, it's Chance here with Drive the Lightning. A couple of quick, hey. exciting Aptera updates. Mm -hmm. We just watched the uh, report from Aptera, the update this morning, and some really cool news about signing some deals with some actual manufacturers to get these parts in to assemble these cars. In-wheel motors, wire harnesses, very exciting. Yes. And we talked about before, of course, the, the uh, Red Viking deal mm -hmm. to be able to handle the production without having to bolt a bunch of machinery to the floor. Just right. roll around on these automatic carts. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. But the real big news that I got from that was that very soon, Sarah, we're going to see the Gamma vehicle. Ooh. We've had the Alpha, like the prototype, the uh -huh. Beta for all the testing. Mm -hmm. And now the Gamma, which is what? That's the one where if everything goes good... Then that's going to go into product. That's what will actually be mass produced. The production intent vehicle. So we're looking forward to that. And if you see it before us, let us know. If we see it before you, we'll make a video about also, it. Also, if you need someone to test one, email us. Yeah, right. Easy. Chad at drivethelightning.com. Okay, anyway. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, also, why are we using the Greek alphabet still? <laughs> it's Greek to me. I don't. It's Greek to everybody, except the <laughs> folks in Greece. So it's, it's interesting. We've got this groundbreaking company. We're charging cars with the sun. We're revolutionizing everything about the auto industry, except we're sticking with the Greek alphabet as we, as we roll through production phases. Why is that? Everybody does it. Shouldn't it be like a V.1, V.2 or something? Or could it be like, you know, Model 1 prototype, Model 2 testing, Model 3 production intent? Or could it just be, this is the prototype? This is the test vehicle. This is the production intent. And just forget about all the Greek letters and whatnot. I don't understand it. I don't know. I Everybody don't, I don't know it. the answer. If you know, the answer, you know the answer, please comment below and enlighten us. It's not a knock on Aptero. This is everybody. I just don't understand it. Don't understand it. And you're going to say, well, it's industry standard. Everybody understands what it means. So what? We're changing We're changing everything. the industry standards. Yeah. So that's some of the excitement. And we're going to leave a link at the end of our video to Aptero Motors video so you can see the details on that. Yes. Other information coming out of Aptero. Ready? One of these. The funding round at $9.20 a share, that's where we got in at, is ending midnight. Um, pst. I think that means it's a secret. What? Midnight pst, PST. That's what the email said. No. So it's midnight. Pst. Pacific Standards. Oh, I thought it was like, hey, we're ending at midnight. It's what we call California time. Oh, so at normal people time, that's like 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. normal people time, mm -mm. June If it's 5th, midnight their time, it would be earlier our time. Sun gets here before there. Oh. Sun, Sarah, check this out. Sun yeah. comes up in the east, goes down in the west, and the clock kind of follows the sun, so. I don't know. That's ancient. Psst. That's older than Psst. Greek It's midnight. <laughs> so June 5th at midnight. Psst. Psst. PST or 3 a.m. normal people time. If you want in at the 920, this is not financial advice, although you should do this. No. But don't take our don't advice. Don't take our advice, but... Look into it. Look into it. For yourself. Yeah. Or just for legal reasons, that's what we did. That's what we decided to do. Okay. So there's more exciting news. Yes. My friend Bruce Nelson, our friend Bruce Nelson, mm -hmm. finally put out a video, finally... Thank By you, the way, Bruce. been waiting. Enjoyed and he, that. And one thing you talked about, oh, he's here now. Hey, Bruce, how's it going? Hey, Chad, you're awesome. Hey, thanks, Bruce. Okay, so one thing Bruce talked about was Aptera setting up possibly mini factories of like 20-some people, 23 people, I think he said. So, Sarah, the production's going to be so streamlined with the Red Viking automated carts and stuff that 23 people can maybe make 10,000 cars a year. That'd be neat. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Out of just a regular warehouse space. Nothing really super special because the carts just need a flat surface to work on. That's it. That is neat because then if things change or you needed to move your production, all you just take all your stuff and you move it to another flat surface place. Yeah. I don't know. That seems uh, Just rent a U-Haul, load useful. everything up. Or, or maybe this. Maybe it's nice. Sunny. Hey, we're going to work outside today, guys. Whoa. You just reprogram all the robots to go outside. I don't know. Anyway, but it was a cool <laughs> idea to think that the opportunity is amazing for people all over the country and maybe the world set up their own little Aptera plants with just a handful of people, which you can get to know well, as Bruce said in his mm -hmm. video, be friendly with. And then you can just, it could be a family business. It could be a close-knit team. Close-knit team, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you could be pushing out 10,000 vehicles a year. So that was really cool. Bruce, thank you for that video. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Hopefully it's good. exciting to see. Very exciting to see. Got a couple of comments we need to share here. Okay. Let's start with uh, Andy Sue. Andy Sue made a comment. 
He said this, go Motor City. Woo. And he said that because, remember why he said that? What He's, do you think he said Because Viking was... Red Vikings from, from Detroit. Right. We made the comment. We make cars here. Oh, by the way, everybody, when you say go Motor City, we also revolutionized uh, music. Yay, Motown. Ever hear of Motown? Anybody? Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Yes. So we brought we, you know, you and me. But Michigan. <laughs> You're taking a lot of personal ownership. Taking a lot of personal ownership and credit. But Michigan gave the world cars. You're welcome. And uh, before music. that, it was horses. And great you know. music. And, and the best music ever made. Mm. All from here. And now, Sarah, she's also from oh, Michigan. So I you're am. welcome, everybody. <laughs> okay, this is the rest of it. He said, maybe one day... <laughs> okay, I haven't read this since it came out. It makes me laugh every time. Says, maybe <laughs> one day you'll both uh, retire from your day jobs, Ooh. plural. Very yes, true, Andy. very true. And YouTube will be your new career smiley wink face. <laughs> so, yeah, Andy, maybe. Let's uh, hope. Uh, one person that really great. loved that, though, is our studio cat, Rugen. Yes. Seen here adjusting the lights. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you, yeah. Rugen. And then seen here in his natural resting position. <laughs> so we get to spend a lot more time with Rugen, which is great. Yes. Yeah. So Even we'll though see. he sleeps like 16 hours a day. Future's wide open. Yeah. But if we get to retire from our day jobs, maybe we will too. Yeah. Sleep 16 hours Sleep a 16 day. Sleep 16 hours, record a video, go back could, to bed. I could go on cat I schedule. I could do that. Great suggestion, Andy. Yeah. Just get us another 6,000 subscribers and we'll be on board. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Uh, this is from our friend Elzo says, Chad and Sarah, a special couple. Aww, Isn't that nice? That is nice. Now, usually we don't share messages like that because they seem a little self-serving. It's oh. like, you guys are so great. Oh, look how great we are. Are you sure he means great when he says special? Yeah, special can be used a couple ways. Mm. You know, that reminds me of when I was in third grade. Mm. And I'm trying to, is a spelling thing, and the word was of. Of. The teacher would say it, Mrs. Reams, and then you had of. to write it down. Of. Mm-hmm. And in our era, I don't know if this was like when you were in school, but we had to sound stuff out, That's right? That's what they always said, sound it out. So of, and I wrote down O-V, and I handed it in, and she looked at it, and she gave it back. Try again, Chad. Listen, of... And I thought about it. I wrote down OV and I gave it back. And she says, Chad, I'm just going to tell you this one. Try to remember this. Because you're so special, Uh it's just OF. So if that's the kind of special you mean, Hmm. you might be on to something. Although I think you had a valid point because the word oven is O-V-E-N. It starts with the sound of Sarah, just because you're so special, oh. let me explain that okay. not all words can be sounded out. Oh, is that gotcha. it for this video? This was going to be short. Okay, I don't know how long is it. Like two hours? Yeah. All right, we're going to put up two videos. Let's put up two videos. Let's put up one okay. over Sarah's face. That's the Aptera announcement. One right about here. That's Bruce Nelson's video. All right. Because you should check that out too. Those are fascinating. Yes. And that is it for today. Thank you. Hey, we got a couple things for you. Now, if you have any thumbs up for us, you know what to do. Have a great day. Thanks.